is my slight redesign of that micro rover that you were showed on your YouTube stash. So, uh, very very much the same, just got a couple of added um, extra modded parts just for playability. A um, little bit of difference is that I've got a tiny bit of camber on the on the wheels, which I find helps a bit, but here's the main difference here, this coupler. So with this coupler you can actually just stack these things pretty much endlessly, which you know, could be pretty useful if you want to have a bunch of rovers on some interplanetary ship. So uh, this coupler is just obviously structural, uh, just on the last page, all that's just extra mods, so don't worry about that. Um, so you just grab that bad boy, chuck her in. Um, make sure you've got the arrows facing down because otherwise the ring will get stuck to the body um, so yeah that way is how you want it and so we can show how it works I'm just gonna load another one up and we'll do a little quick test flight All right, so you can see it's just a real basic launch setup uh, a couple of parachutes just so that I could double stack the, um, the decouplers Alright, so got it loaded up and uh, I'll just get this thing into the air. Alright, so you can see we've just got rid of the lift stage just so I could show the altitude. So this is kind of how you'd have them stacked with the multiple parachutes so you could do your parachute insertion. Um, so yeah, she comes down, she snaps at the 500. Um, I had one and it just tore the whole decoupler away so I chucked a second one in seemed to have fixed it. And we'll just push it on so we can <laughs> get it down to the ground. I had the uh, hot group set up for both the antennas, but obviously I've grabbed them since because it's only remembered the one. Whilst we're falling, this one here is just laser's camera, so just activate it. Gives you a good zoom. This is part of the Kerbal attachment system, so you can attach it to it and drag it back up onto the actual what, other ship or whatever. Right, so we're down. Uh, you can see it's still stuck to it at the moment, so just decoupled it, and just a bit of safe driving, and we'll get rid of the thing. Alright, and then yeah, we've got the actual finished product. Uh, I find the camber kind of helps with it drifting like crazy, so that it doesn't tend to roll as much. But that could also be the extra weight from like the um, from the docking port especially on the bottom. But yeah, other than that you can see it's very, very similar. Thanks for watching.